Hey guys, hope everything's going well. You guys know the drill. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And comment down below. A few things. Um, a few individuals have suggested I try to find a way to make my cards look normal and not backwards. So hopefully this fix works. And... I just want to ask you guys, have you seen Kwame Brown's latest uh, YouTube brands on Twitter? Those are just flat out amazing. I mean, don't watch it in front of your kids. If you're by yourself, you know, just listen to it. I mean, I was just cracking up. You know, I sent it to my brother. My brother is like, whoa, man, this is intense. But anyways, uh, getting into uh, sports cards. I wanted to look at my worst sports card investment and this was in the December or it must have been the fall of 2018. I was getting right back into sports cards and I made an impulse buy on this one auction site. I even forgot. I must have paid $360, $370. I'm really ticked off on what I did. Um, but here are the cards that I bought, you know. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and I lost this one. It's a 1993 Classic C3 Alex Rodriguez. It's a Mint Gem 10, as we know. These are the cards not to buy. Even though people are sending their cards to them. This is a 1994 Classic C11 Alex Rodriguez. Once again, MCG10 or WCG10. Okay, we got here uh, Mint Grading. Oh, this is another cheap grading company. Mint Grading Services, 1990 Arizona State, Barry Bonds, number seven, Collegiate. These cards are probably worth maybe $5, to be honest, each. It's so a 1994 Ted Williams, number 124, Derek Jeter. FGS Grading Inc., 10 Gem Mint. Oh my god, I can't believe I made these decisions. Or I made this decision to buy this. 2001 Upper Deck Ichiro Suzuki, tribute to 51, number 14, Gem Mint 10, Mint Grading Service. They're all 10, so I guess that's the positive part. All right, FGS Grading Inc., 1989, Fleer, number 381, Randy Johnson. Gem Mint 10. I wonder what the grade would be on PSA. They probably trimmed it, whoever sent it to these. It doesn't even look like a 10. You can see from the corners here. Uh, this is uh, another Randy Johnson card. It's Advanced Grading Specialist. Some no-name grading companies. And, yeah, it's... Uh, Gem Mint 10. So Mint Grading Service, uh, another Ichiro, 2001. Gem Mint 10. I mean, I like some of these cards, you know, Ichiro. I may invest in Ichiro cards now that it's really quiet. It's another Ichiro rookie card, Gem Mint 10 again. It's all from 2001, his rookie card. I believe that with Ichiro, he has uh, some Japanese cards a little before then because he played in Japan before he got to the Mariners. So those are cards uh, that I should look into. And, you know, speaking of Ichiro, there was this uh, late uh, Joe Morgan. He used to play on the Reds, used to announce for ESPN. And he always used to say that Ichiro doesn't belong in the Hall of Fame. And I'm like, uh, yeah, he probably does. And... You know, if you look at his stats, he's one of the more consistent batters of all time. And the fact is, he played in Japan for quite a few amount of years and then went to the United States. He retired, what, in 2020? So he played for 19 years about, you know. I think Ichiro definitely deserves a Hall of Fame ballot. Okay, let's go to 1994 Tops Derek Jeter, Gem Mint 10, Mint Grading Service. It's one of uh, Derek Jeter's rookie cards that no one really is buying. Tim Tebow, 
2002 Justifiable Hanley Ramirez Prototype Bonus Gem Mint 10. Oh, this is a PSA card, by the way. But who invests in Hanley Ramirez, man? Hanley Ramirez was just supposed to be this one stud. It was with the Red Sox, but didn't work out. 1987, number 320, Barry Bonds rookie, WCG 10. Okay. And uh, 2001, Ichiro Suzuki, another gem in 10. So they're all 10s, but, you know, I wasted 300 some dollars. Granted, I've made way more than $300 to offset this loss. You know, I've sent some cards in consignment. You know, one card, Mahomes, Optic Hollow, PSA 10. I think I may have showed it in one of my videos. Bought it for $137. The auction, you know, whenever it sells. You know, I should probably get after commissions, $3,700, $3,800. So it's going to offset losses like these. And, you know, I have a lot of times where I buy a card for about $10 ungraded and selling for what $70 we sold yesterday Usain Bolt card it's ridiculous so once again I don't always hit home runs I want to show you yes I've made mistakes and I'm sure some of you guys have made mistakes I do want you guys to tell me what have been your biggest mistakes or what's your biggest mistake I'm not ashamed of uh, admitting this. You know, I've made bigger mistakes in the stock market. And it was a good learning lesson. Anyways, guys, smash the like button. Comment on what have been your worst sports card investment decisions. Or what have been your worst sports card purchases. And also, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe down below. Alright guys, talk to you later. Bye.